Hello ladies, gents, non-binary friends. Today we are going to be discussing the newly crowned Miss Universe Kenya. Such an interesting woman, such a rabbit hole researching her led me down. But before we get into this, please remember to subscribe and also like this video if you want to. And follow me on Instagram because I post question boxes and polls up in my stories in order to inform my opinions for these videos. I love hearing you guys' opinions as well. Some of you are so knowledgeable and add so much value to my life with your opinion. Like, I'm not even kidding because you guys like do your own independent research and I know that a lot of you are very knowledgeable about the pageant industry and so you inform me as well. And it's a lot of fun. So please follow me on Instagram if you don't want to miss out on informing me for these videos. And also I just wanted to take a second to thank you guys so much for the ones who have been subscribing so diligently. It does mean the world to me. And it's just been so amazing for me to build up this little community and to get to know you guys one by one, whether it be in the comments or in my DMs on Instagram. Thank you so much for subscribing ahead of time. But without further ado, let's get into this. So Roshanara Love Ibrahim was recently crowned Miss Universe Kenya 2021 and oh my goodness this is such an interesting and different contestant from what we usually see. First of all she's a business owner, she owns an online store called Jade Rituals where she sells jade online. Jade is a mineral and if you're part of like the crystal healing type of com well I don't really know what to call it but like the crystal collecting community or whatever um, then you'd probably know that Jade is for luck, friendship, peace, it's supposed to keep you safe, it's supposed to bring all of those things into your life so Definitely, I would say that Roshanara is part of that crowd who believes in that type of stuff. But it does seem like that's a very big part of her personal brand and the person who she likes to portray herself as online, which I think is interesting. Roshanara is a self-described mindfulness coach hypnosis practitioner and, and just a person with a special interest in regression therapy as a whole. She is also apparently a award-winning author with her latest book being Beyond the Darkness, a strategic guide to the new earth. I don't know what that's about. So just from all of that information like her book, her business, the way she describes herself and her interests, I would definitely say that Roshanara is a person with alternative beliefs, like the type of person we don't usually see wanting to compete in pageantry. But the thing that makes Roshanara all the more interesting is that she is actually a law graduate and a model. She is also 28 years old, but the thing that I would say Roshanara is the most known for is the fact that she was Miss World Kenya 2016. But she was dethroned after her ex leaked her um, intimate photographs. She also has like a strong American sounding accent. Hey everybody, so here we are undergoing a massive shift within the Earth's Schumann resonance as well as in our fields of consciousness. And so if I had one message for the world right now, it would be connect to your soul. It's been a while since her Miss World Kenya days. I mean, it's been like, what, five years. So it's been a while. She's, she was 23 then. She's 28 now. She's grown a bit. She's published a book. She started a business. So I would definitely say, you know, as far as life experience goes, she is definitely not lacking. But I suppose we'll have to see. Roshanara is just such an interesting candidate for Miss Universe. Let me know what you think about her. Do you think she stands a chance in making it into the top 20? Obviously this year there are far less candidates than there usually are at Miss Universe. So, you know, 
there might be some opportunities for smaller countries to break in the top 20 that you don't usually make it so let me know what you think about her i just thought that she just had such an interesting persona that we don't usually see also if you're not already please subscribe i'm literally begging and thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one Thank you so much for staying with us. Our hashtag this evening is one on one. We continue to have conversations with persons of interest and my person of interest this evening is Roshan Nara Ibrahim. She's a beauty queen. Wave to the, I don't know how you guys do it. <laughs> <laughs> so Roshan Nara was um, in July stripped of her title, Miss World Kenya 2016. But she has refused to go down without putting up a spirited fight to reclaim her crown. The title has since been passed on to Miss World Kenya 2016 first runners-up Evelyn Jambi. Uh, and this continues to be a bone of contention with Russia Nara here, who claims hers is a case of unfair dismissal. Um, you were stripped of your title um, in what was cited as breach of conduct did you conduct yourself in a manner that was not befitting of a beauty queen would you say um, my comment on the breach of contract is that I carried out my responsibility to the best of my knowledge I always did carry myself very well um, I indulged in all sorts of um, different charities and I tried to give back to society in the best possible way that I could um, so if you ask me directly whether I breached any code of conduct then my answer would be no. So let's go back to when it came to the knowledge of the media that mm -hmm. Russia Nara here had been stripped of her title as Miss World Kenya 2016. How was this information made known to you? Was this communicated to you? Like, was there a communique where you called by the franchise holders and told you're no longer Miss World Kenya? How did you get this information? Um, yes, I was called um, in the evening at about 8 o'clock and it was just said to me you're no longer Miss Kenya and um, before then I had a chance to stand up for myself or defend myself or even argue the fact that I was dethroned um, the next morning it was in the media mm -hmm. so there was no fair, fair hearing as such I wasn't really given any option in the matter and it was just boom <laughs> So through the Were well, you given a chance to defend yourself though? No, I wasn't. Okay. Okay, so without getting into um into 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 your decision to go to court now, mm -hmm. I want to talk about um you being at this high point in your life, being crowned beauty queen out of how many other contenders? Forty six I think forty six forty six forty six 46 46 and you're yes. the forty seventh. And you being crowned as Miss World Kenya and then, you know, and ceremoniously being stripped of this title. Mm -hmm. What are you feeling at that time? What was your reaction when they told you that uh, give us your sash and your crown? Um, it's very disappointing to say the least because um, this has been something that I have wanted ever since I was a little girl. I think from the time that I was about five, six years old, um, this is an ambition that I always had, um, first and foremost to become an international model and on top of being a, of just being a model I wanted to become Miss World and for this opportunity to have been taken away from me um, to be able to compete on the world stage is disappointing to say the least mm -hmm. and unfair. Mm -hmm. And um, so now we, we get into your private life actually affecting um, your title. What sacrifices did you have to make to join this pageant? Uh, did I make any sacrifices? <laughs> could be school. Could um, be no, law school. Um, very. Oh, you're in law school. Yes, I'm in law Where? school. University of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Um, but luckily for me, what happened was the first three months of Miss Kenya, I hadn't heard from the office at all. So there were no responsibilities as such as a, I mean, other than the ones that I gave myself um, to work with different charities to make the most of my crown. Um, so during those first three months I was lucky enough to be able to finish with mm -hmm. um, law school and now I'm waiting to graduate okay so I didn't get in the way of and school. no wonder <laughs> you ta you've chosen to take legal recourse and, and 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 I want to talk about if you have to do this 
differently. Um, mm -hmm. You know, just being thrust out there, social media, everybody talking about you, um, you being this beauty queen that has now been stripped of her title. If you had to do this differently, would you even attempt, have you, would you even have attempted to take this particular route? Um, I have no regrets. And I believe that God has a reason for everything that happens. Um, there is a purpose for everything that happens and I appreciate that this is my journey and this is where I've gotten so far and I refuse to believe that it goes downhill from here. Mm -hmm. I am working hard to make sure that um, things work out and I have full faith that they will.